Hey there YouTube, welcome to Big Mike Beard Wisdom. So today we're on the Sonata and today's video is kind of about when weird stuff happens. So let's say you're driving along and a little furry bowling ball decides it wants to be in the road and you can't avoid it. So as you can see here, a little bit of damage to the Sonata. So kind of one of those things got a little bit of fur there so pretty white looking fur so thinking maybe possum maybe raccoon maybe so just kind of one of those things you want to do a quick evaluation of what happened make sure nothing's rubbing so they can kind of see right here if this was contacting the tire at all then the tire would have wore this away which it probably was And then as you're checking for damage, you want to be careful just for any kind of like sharp edges and stuff. You can see down here, this looks like an air duct to redirect airflow from up here. Peeking inside. Hopefully we didn't damage any of that stuff over there that's shiny and looks expensive. <laughs> you can see the orange cables to the hybrid system. But all in all, probably not too bad. Looks like this is loose here as well. So that back there is all loose. So it probably pops some stuff loose back there. And with how bad this looks, it's really not super bad. This part right here where it's kind of popped out, that should line up and kind of pop right back in as long as there isn't any extra damage. This though, that might be a little expensive, but I might get lucky and enough of this might be able to snap up into there as long as it didn't snap the tabs off completely, which it looks like the tabs are there. So this might wind up binding itself back together pretty easily. And I was going to say it looked like we got kind of lucky. But I can kind of hear a weird pump noise. I just can't quite place if the noise is right in here. Maybe somewhere over there. But on the bright side, the running lights down here work those running lights work so at least we're not buying an expensive set of LED running lights well we might be or the insurance is gonna cover it maybe who knows so light function wise we're good more than likely we didn't hit anything structural because it's way down there you can kind of see where it's all knocked out down there so I think up here we're all pretty in decent shape Looks like the bumper still has good gaps here. Fender still has good gaps, so it didn't transfer a lot of energy up through it. So, we might get a little bit lucky. I've got the car jacked up real quick. I've got the air compressor running in the garage. And you can kind of see right here, looked like it bent the fender just a little bit when it probably popped this sucker out. It looks like a big section of this inside in here is missing. You can kind of see from this mark here, this at least touched the tire for a second. And then I think it's broke off back here. So that's all kind of wide open. There's a bit of hair, so at least that part slapped it too. <laughs> from the other side, we can see it's one big piece all the way down to there. So we need that inner fender liner to help close this off. Otherwise you're gonna get water and dirt where you don't want water and dirt to go. And you can kind of see here, there's that duct on this side. Now, depending on your insurance, depends on whether or not you're gonna to wanna to actually do some of the tweaks I'm about to do. 
just because it might make it less obvious as to what needs to be repaired. So I've got full coverage on this and it's probably a good idea to maybe use the full coverage because I definitely am going to need a bumper cover. This section here is just completely missing. The inner fender liner, that might be kind of expensive too. The big thing is painting because a lot of times if they paint that bumper cover, they're going to have to paint and blend in the fenders a little bit, in the hood a little bit. Real quick, you can kind of see the tabs in here. So real quick, I'm going to take this bolt here loose. It looks like about a 10 millimeter. So the gray one, the one up there, not the black one over there. The reason why I'm taking this bolt here loose is how this is sticking out. So more than likely, this bolt's the only thing that's holding this edge on. And then those tabs are pushing against the tab part it's supposed to be holding on to. So that's out. Pop this loose. You can kind of see that's all bent down, probably from being in here this so long in this state. And you can see all the tabs up here. So all these go up above into those. So we'll try and give it a little bend back into shape. Push it so it's flat. And push it in. So now you can see this is back to being lined up and in place. Then I just have to put this bolt back in. So that looks way better. Let's take a good look at this right here. And this is kind of the same thing as what was up here. So essentially, this corresponds to these fingers here. The bad part is this part is probably part of the bumper that tore free. Looks like there's a screw right there. Same thing with this over here. Part of the bumper, maybe a screw right there. Feels like a screw. So. Hopefully we can see that there's a damaged area here that's broken, hopefully. <laughs> and this here's broken here knocked loose a little bit and this is just other parts just kind of free floating in outer space so what we're going to do is we're going to line up all these tabs and pop this back into place where it goes same thing with this over here that way everything's kind of held in with this stuff and that should get us probably to a decent point to travel down the road not a really good point because there's obviously a lot of open areas still but let's get the snapping and this is more or less what I would probably do on the roadside if I were to fix this right now I would probably take the whole bumper cover off and then fix it more or less the right way <laughs> But right now, it's just kind of getting it back so it's a semi-road worthy. And it's going to take a lot of tape to kind of help seal this area here up. Because we still need to drive the vehicle. And if I submit it for insurance, it's going to be one of those things where it might be a little bit that's got to spend at a shop. All right. So now that's kind of snapped in place, looking at it right here, you can see there's a crack in this housing piece. This is a separate piece from the light piece. And I don't know if this is buggy kind of stuff, but that light piece probably could use a decent polish. Again, there's some hair. <laughs> so I've got everything kind of snapped more or less in place. You can see I can push on this pretty good. So going down the road, this should work out. This over here is fairly close. So if you were to do like a fiberglass type repair that'll work out pretty decent I've got everything fixed back here issue though is this big gaping hole and 
that right there, I believe, is some type of pump. I'm gonna send the camera in so we can kind of see in a little bit better. So that might be broken. All right, so that pretty much leaves this inner fender liner that needs to be replaced. Otherwise, you're gonna get water in here if it rains or you hit puddles. This looks like the entire, maybe the entire under engine cover, unless it separates right in here. Okay, good. So the front, that would be kind of like your under radiator area and stuff all the way through the front so that'll be needed need to be replaced this probably more than likely helps a lot with aero and helps limit drag which is a big thing on like a hybrid but otherwise oh and just because you think you know maybe the steering wheel is not off a little bit you do want to double check your suspension make sure everything's still good and tight because depending on where the animal went if it just went doing pow off the side maybe you didn't hit it with the wheels but if you hit it with the wheel that can be a big thing too because you know an eight pound animal is kind of like an eight pound bowling ball covered in fur or feathers you know if you hit like a turkey <laughs> and that can be a major disruption to the suspension and cause you know possible damage you can see everything kind of squeezed together in pretty decent. This is probably a good idea because I have full coverage on it to still report it to the insurance agent and stuff. But I can hopefully still drive this to a shop. And if this had happened to me on the side of the road, I would have had this back together kind of like this and been driving it this way. Most everything should be kind of kept away from here. It's possible the wind will blow this back in. So this will either get a tab put in, unless the tab's gone, which I kind of think the tab's gone. Or, you know, a little bit of like black duct tape will go a long way on this. Especially if you find shiny black duct tape that matches. <laughs> so, should you happen to hit a little, you know, 8 to 16 pound furry bowling ball? You know, you definitely want to check it out. See if you can kind of like get yourself back on the road fairly easily. That way you're not doing any further damage. And hopefully it's something simple, kind of like mine was. I got really lucky with the, like the snap clips here. And then how big this panel is with snap clips too. Cause I mean, that's a huge kind of structural thing. It kind of adds to that. And the fact that the light still works cause that would have been really expensive too. But, it gives me a good idea what I need. So, bumper cover, that little bezel, that under engine piece, inner fender liner, odd trim clips and stuff like that. And the big thing to remember though, is that little bend and tweak in the fender. Because if that cracked the paint, that's gonna rust. And up here in Minnesota, all you need to do is just think about salt a little bit and it starts rusting. <laughs> so, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to like and subscribe and I'll check you next time.